do that one. I saw this cat on YouTube. An it was just on the, on the, no, no, it wasn't oh, a cat. Sorry. It wasn't a YouTube cat video. Uh, no, it was just on the uh, homepage, one of the most, most viewed videos. And I thought, that guy, we've got to work oh, with that cat. guy. This cat. This guy oh, here. Oh, okay. Love won't annihilate hatred. It builds you up till you've had enough. Then won't let you be. Well, Wally was obviously looking for an a cappella band, and uh, <laughs> and we formed it very quickly. <laughs> we were back and forwarding about this idea of collaborating on a on a track together, and um, we'd started doing an arrangement, and then Wally kind of won three Grammys, and <laughs> <laughs> we were like. He's not going to come back <laughs> to an a cappella. He's still going to do it. He's still going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually unfamiliar with the reels and Quasimodo's dream till fairly recently. I'd heard the song title um, because it's it's named amongst other you know classic Australian songs from that 70s 80s period. So I went to listen to it you know a month and a half ago and instantly loved it. I uh, thought it would be interesting to try and render it just with voices a cappella. Just when you say no more, I had lost for key. I never wanted to be. Quasimodo's dream When Helen from Slam approached me to do this piece, I was really happy to do it because I love the song. And I was really interested to see what Wally would do with it. The song lyrics are quite ambiguous, sort of quite melancholy. In the story of Quasimodo, it's all about attraction and repulsion. I wanted that to be the essence of the picture. We're doing a poster and we're doing a, a record cover, uh, etching on the vinyl. What we see is this strange botanical piece and beyond it we can actually see a face. Quasimodo's sleeping in the landscape. I'm interested in Quasimodo um, as I am with other characters like Frankenstein or, or the Elephant Man. I'm interested in the idea of difference and, and, and beauty in difference. It's great for me because my work isn't just on the walls of museums, it's actually on people's turntables. I think Sans Instruments is better than yeah. Arcapella. Yeah. Well, I was, I was going to say we're trying so to bring Arcapella back. To, to try it. and sort of pick the dags off. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One by one. I guess and what you have been doing that too. Yeah. You've been <laughs> the police. You've been going, nah, you can't go Arcapella bing bang bong <laughs> I do want to go back. And we're just holding through that bit. It's the same note as I end up on. on right. that. I feel like I'm a bit on my own there, blasting that shell iron. So yeah. maybe mm. you guys need to come in just with something really strong with four Yeah, pieces. like it was. Yeah. Make a ring, master, please. Find another me. So we did a kind of a first draft arrangement. And it only actually became real and exciting when Wally got that arrangement, put uh, your take over the top of it, and it just took off. Just when you say no more, a hand us for the key. But I never wanted to be in Quasimodo's dream. Shall I? Master, please find another me. Find another me. Ringmaster. 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 Ringmaster.